World War I. The Great War. The war to end all wars. Many people know about how the war ended and of the Treaty of Versailles, but how did it begin? The beginning of the war is shrouded in much confusion, but today, I hope to expose a little of the mystery to you. Germany, under the lead of the Kaiser, decided to not renew a treaty with Russia, opting for an Austrian alliance. Germany proceeded to build up their navy. This alerted Britain. Within the span of ten years, Britain had concluded agreements with its two rivals, France and Russia. By 1914, Germany had the power to cause a large-scale war, and the tension that was building in the country surrounding Germany was turning to dynamite. All it needed was to be lit. In Sarajevo, on June 28, 1914, that's exactly what happened. The Archduke Ferdinand was assassinated by the Black Hand, a Serbian nationalist society. Ferdinand was Austria-Hungary's heir, and Austria demanded that Serbia bring the assassins to justice. Serbia did nothing. Instead, Russia, in alliance with Serbia, mobilized an army. Germany saw this as an act of war. On August 1st, 1914, Germany declared war on Russia. France, in alliance with Russia, was thrust into the war. Germany invaded Belgium on its way to attack France. England entered the war in alliance with France. The President of the United States, Woodrow Wilson, declared absolute neutrality but in April joined the war in 1917 because of a major threat to shipping routes. Japan declared war on Germany in April of 1914, and Austria-Hungary declared war on Japan. Italy remained neutral until 1915, when it was joined with the Allied Alliance. This effectively caused worldwide warfare, and it would take years and nine million deaths before the war would finally grind to a halt.